Hey guys, it's Sean with the Mini School. We'll do a follow up video on the multiple time frames for the Turbo Scalper. And we did a post on the blog, and basic, and yet last night, and basically today was pretty much exactly what we posted last night as far as the structure of what we were looking at on why to use multiple time frames. So, bottom chart is our smaller chart, top chart is our higher time frame. So, when we look at this, you can see on this on the smaller chart right here we're below the bigger moving averages and they're both red okay which is showing short-term weakness okay now it's important to have that higher time frame view because this move down okay only came into our higher time frame support okay and then it fired off a long signal on our higher time frame now it also fired off a long signal on our small time frame a little bit ahead of our higher time frame signal okay now from that signal you can see that on the higher time frame we basically stay green the whole way up on the smaller time frame we do get a turn of our fast moving average here a little bit sideways it's picking up you know a little bit red a little bit more now as far as the structure we never took out the last structure low. So the structure here is extremely bullish, even on our small time frame. Okay, so as we go here, it's really this move here that I want to look at. On the higher time frame, we do go to red, and the price goes sideways, and it is coming down a little bit. Okay, but overall, it's still above the moving averages. It still has strength to it. It's just short term selling okay or minor selling now it's at the end of selling okay we're always looking for a, a, a the last leg to be faster okay it, it sells harder to the last leg and then the result of that is it short squeezes the people that jump on short emotionally right here Okay, and then the short squeeze starts, and that, that's what really takes us up to begin this next wave. So, you, and you can pick that up a little bit easier on the smaller chart. So, right at the end of this leg, you'll see how both moving averages go to red, and there's, there's pressure to the downside right at the end of this leg. Okay, and that was the low, we have a green arrow, and then that was the low, and then we start a new leg up, okay, for 10 points. Now, this move down was, didn't even break our structure of our higher time frame at all, okay? It's just pulling down into support of the higher time frame, just like back here, okay? So, it's really stepping back and saying... There are certain things to look for on each chart, but that move to the downside that happens fairly quick that sucks people in short, thinking, oh, I'm going to miss this short, this is the high, okay, that's what gets us off to the new leg. Okay, so we have a signal on our higher time frame here to enter, and there's also a signal on, this, on the shorter term time frame here to enter. Stop below structure here. Okay, so... We'll keep following it. You'll see how we come into support again on the higher time frame here. Okay, 1043. So let's find that. Okay, same, same situation occurs. Short time frame goes to bearish here. Okay, we have that move down. Structure support start to hold. And it turns the market back into another long signal. So this short-term weakness did not change the structure of the higher time frame being bullish. So we're really just sticking to the direction looking for the next entry in the trend direction. Okay, and we have bigger outlook numbers, okay, from our nightly videos to say where's the bigger resistance and support. So if we're trading long up to and we hit a 60 minute support or resistance it's a good idea to stop trading in that direction okay so 
um, at this point, you can see, it, even if you did take the next signal, okay, the entry would be here. And it comes up, we have red arrow, and we basically be stopped here. Okay, so our stops are going to be tight for looking for expan expansion moves like this. Okay, now, um, this is the benefit of breaking it down into a different view. Now, if we look at a five-minute chart of the NQs today, you can see very hard to get in. Okay, so what happens is most of the time, instead of continually going long with this direction on a five-minute chart, since it was hard to catch the direction to begin with, okay, we start defaulting back to trying to pick the top. Okay, and that's very dangerous to do. Example today, it just keeps going higher and higher, right? So you can see we had a very big move, okay, and the opportunity was to the long side. So it's really breaking down that direction into a different view so it makes more sense, and then you can break it down into specific entries, Okay, and then once you get that, then it's just learning the bigger pattern to say, okay, we're at bigger resistance. Maybe I should stop going long or skip this trade. Okay, or I will take the trade. We're in bigger resistance, but I'll do it with less contracts. So really, that's the part of the trading that is variable. The entries in the direction should be clear on the chart. And really, once a signal fires off, it's not so much, should I be long or short from right here? It's, how many points is it going to go up from my entry? That's the real question. So, and the bigger chart can give us a, a, a very good answer to that. But even if we have a bigger target, it doesn't mean from this specific entry, it goes up 30 points to our target. Maybe there's three, four legs inside of that. So... It's really just slowing it down and making it make more sense.